Hello brothers and sisters, welcome to this video. It is Tuesday the 5th of October at 4 p.m. UK time. So I just wanted to cover in this video mainly what's going on on La Palma Island. So what I have in front of me here is the, the apogee and the perigee schedules of the moon. So the closest approach of the moon is the perigee and the furthest part is the apogee so here you can see on the 11th of september is when the closest approach of the moon was previously or the most recent was on the 11th of september and it was this day on the 11th of september that we saw the seismic swarm begin in la palma so here you can see this is the translated tweet from the Institute of Geographic, the National Geographic Institute of La Palma. And here you can see it is translated on the right hand side over here from the start of the series on the 11th. So it was on the 11th that the series of earthquake swarms began, and this was reported on the 13th. So this tweet was from, from the 13th as you can see here on the right hand side and they record the earthquake swarm beginning on the 11th at 8 a.m. and then from then onwards there was 1570 earthquakes which have occurred within the two days that it began so yeah you can see just going back to the perigee of the moon you can see it was when the moon was the closest to the earth that that earthquake swarm began. There are very many people who are looking at the 8th of October or the 7th and the 8th of October um, as a potential date for the rapture, as a month being late, um, one month late Feast of Trumpets. So I won't get into the whole um, into the whole debate and the argument about that. I will take any potential rapture dates I can. So I'll look at this date and just show you the interesting things which are happening on this date. Um, so on the 8th of October, it just so happens that that is when the, the moon is next in, in perigee. So the next image I want to show you guys is this. These are the earthquake swarms which are happening on the left hand side over here. You can see this was the first eruption and from the beginning of the earthquake swarm which was the 11th of September until the eruption which was on the 19th of September was around about nine days and here you can see the earthquake swarm which was occurring and then suddenly it erupted then the earthquakes subsided somewhat while the er eruption was taking place and then it started to get really explosive and more violent and this is this is roughly on the 25th of September so this has been going on now for coming up to well coming up to 10 days so this is this is today so if you look at the thin blue line which is located on the image you can see that it goes sharply upwards on the right hand side and that is the cumulative seismic energy so you can see there's much more seismic energy which is occurring with the current earthquake swarm than was occurring with the previous earthquake swarm and as you can see, these earthquake swarms are actually more intense than uh, the previous ones. Here you can see the earthquake swarms where they have taken place over the last three days. And if I go to the last 15 days, you'll see the previous earthquake swarm which occurred happened further north. So this is happening in a different location. It's happening further down south and it's happening where the actual fault line is, as I'll show you in a second. So if I click on 15 days, you can see that the earthquake swarm was more to the northwestern location, and that's where the eruption is currently taking place. If we go to 90 days, uh, you'll see that that's, that's got the earthquake swarm which occurred, and that includes the full swarm which took place, which started to take place from the 11th. So here you can see it, the, the swarm is actually taking place in a different location. Also, you'll notice that the color of the previous swarm is a lighter color. So that means that they were smaller magnitude earthquakes, as I'll show you. 
they were uh, you know they were under magnitude two, whereas now they are they are mostly over magnitude two, and some are actually three and closer to four. So you see the different colors of the the earthquake swarms. So that means that it is getting more violent. Um, it's more explosive, and what's taking place underneath the island of La Palma is intensifying here you can see this was the previous earthquake swarm which took place and then there was this quiet period of time and then suddenly you see these are the 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 current the the current earthquake swarms which is taking place at the moment is on the right hand side but don't be fooled by the by the green color and the fact that these are higher um, because these are all under magnitude too as you can see there are far more there are far more magnitude three to four earthquakes which are happening so in actual fact this is there's more seismic activity which is going on over here than there is over here this just this looks like more because it is because it shows you the the earthquake swarms that were under magnitude two but there are far fewer earthquakes which were over magnitude three i've just also got a comparison here between the previous earthquake swarm which caused the eruption to happen and here you can see this is where the where the eruption is currently taking place this is where the the previous swarm happened which is not as as explosive as the current swarm or the earthquakes are a of a lower magnitude here you can see where the current swarm is taking place so it's taking place at a different location and here where I've put this green line here this is where that fault line is uh, is is currently and this is obviously the western portion that they're concerned that if this goes uh, then there's going to be a, a, a landslide into the ocean and uh, then this world is going to know all about it so here you can see here's the previous earthquake swarm and here's the current earthquake swarm so it's 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 happening in a different location there's also a lot of uh downplaying the the, the seriousness of this online um a lot of people are saying that it's not going to happen and and of course uh, mocking and ridiculing it but there have been some very serious scientific studies which have happened in the past and i will link uh these studies in the description of the video but uh, just to summarize it says that at the bottom of this study it says we conclude that although uncertainties still exist regarding the timing of a future flank collapse of the Cumbra Vieja volcano the various lines of evidence presented here provide strong indications that when such collapses do occur at La Palma and other oceanic islands in the geologically near future the resultant tsunamis will have the potential to remain highly destructive at oceanic distances so I will link uh, this scientific paper and there's also another scientific paper here which shows you the effect of uh, the landslide and the potential um, 100 foot waves which it could uh, or, or 100 foot or above that it could potentially cause um, and there's a there's a whole there's a whole study here so this is not to be poo-pooed um, there you can see it tells you the location of the fault from 1949 so it's a four meter uh, fault line it, it uh, the the fault caused the land of the western portion of la palma to drop 13 foot and then it just stopped there uh, and that's how it has been since 1949 so here's uh, a picture of the potential slide block which go which will go into the ocean and yeah, it's in, it makes for some interesting reading, and obviously, um, uh, it, it it's a well known uh, it's a well known potential catastrophe. So, is it going to happen? We shall see. God warns people; He gives us loads of warning, loads of time. And uh, in Revelation eight eight, it says that there is a that John saw a, a, um, a great mountain burning with fire that was cast into the sea. Um, and yes, that happens in the tribulation. And that is not the, a star uh, that some people have said that, that the great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. 
um, that's a different that's one of the different uh, trumpet judgments to um, a, a st the, the, the star wormwood that would be the asteroid a mountain is something which is connected to the earth it mounts up from the earth so a mountain is is not something which would be the asteroid the asteroid is further down in uh, Revelation chapter 8 uh, the mountain burning with fire is different to the asteroid which is wormwood so could this be that mountain burning with fire that is cast into the sea um, or the, the in the Greek it's it's dropped without um, without care of where something falls that's what it that's what the Greek word uh, implies is that it's it's like a it's like dropping something without without being concerned where it falls if you look at the Greek word uh, cast the mountain was cast into the sea so my friends we shall see uh, we shall see um, so yeah just to summarize um, the phases of the moon uh, the 8th of October is when the moon is at perigee and the 8th of October would be the waxing crescent moon that uh, that would be located in Scorpio so uh, that would actually be by the feet of Virgo and I'm going to show you that in a second so the new moon is on the 6th of October which is tomorrow uh, and the 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 waxing crescent moon or the first time the moon is actually sighted will be on the 7th of October so the 8th of October is when the moon would be closest and potentially who knows maybe that's going to have effect on the La Palma Island situation. Brothers and sisters, is this going to explode? Is this what uh, that mountain burning with fire uh, is cast into the sea? Of course, the rapture of the church happens before that. And um, we won't be here if, uh, if that is the mountain that's cast into the sea. But there's no reason why the mountain that is cast into the sea can't be burning um, before the rapture of the church as a volcano. So this is the coming new moon and this is the potential rapture date that people are looking at. That's the new moon. We can't see the new moon because the sun is behind the moon and therefore we cannot see it. And as we go forward, uh, this would be the new moon coming down to the feet of Virgo. And I guess you could say this is closer to the Revelation chapter 12 sign as it comes down. And on the 8th of October, uh, that would be the, the moon at her feet. So my brothers and sisters, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm as keen uh, for the rapture of the church to happen as anybody. So anybody says that this is a potential day, I'll look at this. And if not, there's another date that I will um, I will make a video about but just keep looking up stay encouraged I know that the things which are going on in this world uh, the persecution of the uh, of the of the waiting church is um, you know is really in full force at the moment um, I know I just had my my court case I was found uh, I was found guilty for breaching COVID lockdown rules and I was found innocent for public order offense. So they found me guilty for leaving my home and preaching the gospel uh, on a Sunday. And uh, I, I put my case to them that that's how I worship God. And there were provisions in the COVID regulations that we could uh, attend a place of worship. And I, that's how I worship my God is that is that. Um, I preach the gospel to the lost souls of the world and that's um, that's my calling but it wasn't good enough for them they found me guilty on that charge so we'll see what happens um i love you very much brothers and sisters i know that uh times are i know that times are tough and we're all facing uh, we're all facing different challenges for different problems um and we shouldn't be comfortable in this world Let's just hope our Lord and Savior comes as soon as possible and we're out of here. Um, everything's happening. Uh, the book of Revelation is coming alive. You know, I was just saying to a brother yesterday, there's so many things which are going on in the world which, are, which just marry up perfectly with, with the book of Revelation. You know, the one world government, one world religion, the Pope, 
telling people to go and get you know get the jab and the fact that there is a medical procedure going on in this world um, which they are mandating so that you can complete a transaction or complete um, a, a commercial um, business um, procedure and you know you, you have to go and you have to go and um, and do what is written in Revelation chapter 13 verses 16 and 17 about the mark of the beast so it hasn't come yet uh, the mark of the beast as I've as uh, I've, I've mentioned before is not being applied by mankind we don't have the logistics to do it the beast comes with his mark and then everybody is going to be subject to that to that mark all the leaders all the elite all of them all of them are going to be subject to the mark of the beast and uh, it's not going to be pretty when when uh, heaven is shaken and these things arrive they're going to be much much more powerful than we are but we're not going to be here praise god we're going to be out of here and we're going to watch um we're going to watch from the mezzanine and uh, it's going to be terrifying for the people of this world who have rejected god they've rejected his word they've rejected his warning they've rejected the watchmen they've rejected it, all the signs you know they've bought the climate change lie they they know very well that there is an issue with the climate you've got to be living underneath a rock um, not to know that there's a very very serious problem with the climate and uh, that's god's warning to the world uh, in and amongst all the the wickedness and the sin that they don't even recognize you see if if you are blind to sin you are you are blind to God's program you're blind to when God is going to do something because you don't see the wickedness of the world or your own wickedness and so you don't even know that the judgment of God is coming because you don't believe in sin um, you think it's theoretical and uh, it's it, it, so, so so sin is blinding and it blinds to sin um, and that's the world that we live in today and God God is God is um, he's he's gonna he's gonna rise up very very soon he's gonna roar from zion and we are we're gonna we're gonna see him very very soon my friends we're gonna see him very very soon i'm hoping along with you for this date let's see we'll see is is the feast of trumpets one month late um i won't get into that i have <laughs> i have my own opinions about that but hey I'm prepared to be wrong for the sake of the rapture. I'm very, very happy to be wrong. Um, so I, I'm looking forward to this date with you guys. And we shall see. If not, I have another date up my sleeve. And we're just looking for particular dates. Um, we're interested in, in dates that come up. So my friends, keep your head up looking at the skies. I know that if you're here at this stage of the game, you're well awake, you're well aware, and what a, what a blessing it is to be alive. Alive, not dead like the rest of the world, but alive in 2021. Could this be it? I pray. I pray it is. My friends, I hope that this is the last video that I will ever make. I'll see you in the sky. Mm -hmm.